What is celebrity mother to do? Stay inside 24-7, breastfeeding and pureeing organic vegetables for months to avoid the wrath of mum shaming trolls? So what that Kylie Jenner made an appearance in blue and pink wigs at Coachella with her boyfriend, Travis Scott on April 13th, after giving birth to little Stormy Webster on February? Why was that so horrifying to legions of internet nasties who slagged her for leaving her two-month-old baby most likely in the hands of a highly qualified nanny, for a couple of hours, while she had a good time and did some work? Kylie Jenner's at Coachella like she doesn't have a whole newborn at home, tweeted one critic. Must be nice to have everything done for you so you can just chill it up, tweeted another. Holy motherhood. Why are people so eager to be judgmental about mothers in general, and celebrity mothers in particular, because they are high profile? The shamers felt free to insult while having no idea about what arrangements Kylie had made for Stormy, though you can bet they were absolutely A+. Plus. For all we know, Kylie didn't leave Stormy behind in LA at all. She probably had rented a house, or at the very least, a big, fabulous suite at a luxury hotel close by in Palm Springs, where Stormy was installed with a nanny. She was most likely so close by that Kylie could run back and forth to breastfeed, that way, she could be an attentive mum and do her job of actually being a celebrity, which is her profession. She appeared at a Coachella Kylie Cosmetics event, as well as posted on Instagram promoting fashion over body suits, while she was there. Do the people who make nasty comments on Kylie's Instagram, like, you barely with her daughter, or so who's raising the kid, actually have children themselves? Do they not realize that most American mothers don't have the luxury of taking months off of work to stay home and be with their new babies? The American Family and Medical Leave Act of 1993 only allows women to take 12 weeks off work after a baby's birth without losing their jobs, but it's unpaid leave and the law applies only to companies with 50 employees or more. That means that if you work for a small business, you may be fired if you take anywhere near that time off. Yes, some big companies provide paid time off for new moms, but it's usually six weeks at the most. So most American women would have had to return to work long before Kylie just did for a few hours. And, by the way, 70% of women with children under 18 are members of the workforce, according to the United States Department of Labor. And, Ivanka Trump, for all her talk about improving the lives of working parents, has done nothing to help. But, back to Kylie, just because she is wealthy enough to not have to work at this point, doesn't mean that the 20-year-old isn't passionate about building her business and brand, and doesn't want to put that on hold indefinitely in order to be a great mum to Stormy. Anyone who follows Kylie's social media and news about her on HollywoodLife.com knows that she is a loving and doting mother. Having a caring nanny babysit her daughter at times doesn't change that. Also, where were the daddy shamers for Travis Scott, Stormy's dad? Yes, he's getting a few disses, but not nearly the same volume as Kylie. If you are going to parent shame, please do it equally. Stop singling out mothers. Kylie Hay selected not to respond to these nasties. But, other celebrities, like Chrissy Teigen and John Legend, Mila Kunis, Pink, Kim Kardashian, Kelly Clarkson and Jay Wow have slammed right back at the haters who have criticized them for anything from having a post-baby date night, to feeding their children Nutella, to holding them in a swimming pool, to breastfeeding them in public, to cooking while their baby was in a carrier on their chest. Basically, there's no winning at being a good mother, in the world we live in today. Some people are just hell-bent on being the f***ing worst. Chrissy Teigen tweeted after an Instagram commenter complained that her baby daughter, Luna, never showed emotions, presumably because Chrissy was doing something wrong. Jenny J. Wow Farley blasted back at sunscreen obsessed critics who went wild after she posted the cutest photo of her two month old son Grayson, who was being cradled by his dad, who stood in a pool, with Grayson wearing an adorable hat. Remember us holes, I'm in the tanning industry. She replied before describing exactly her formula for Grayson's protective sunscreen.
probably even better than the crap shit you lather your children in, she retorted, can I just say to all the mommy and daddy shamers out there, if you care so much about kids, why don't you volunteer your time reading to, or tutoring children living in homeless shelters or sponsor a child through the Child Fund International or Save the Children, or make a donation to one of these fine organizations, in other words, do something to truly help a child in desperate need instead of criticizing loving celebrity parents who can and do provide their offspring with everything in the world.